and time to head back over to Matinka. Well, the snow is really pretty right now. It's very gently falling. It's a heavy, wet snow. The wind, though, is going to be building in later on. That's going to cause even more problems. Currently, the heaviest snow is just to the south of Panora, north of Winterset, spreading over toward Ankeny, over toward Marshalltown. This is all moving to the east this morning, and otherwise, you see some lighter snow stretching back through Carroll, up even through Fort Dodge. Pretty much the entire state this morning is getting some snow. And this is a look at the radar indicated snowfall totals just from the past 12 hours, six to eight inches. Very common here in the central part of the state, lighter totals up to the north. And this is where we were expecting the highest totals, right along I 80. And it's pretty much lining up just where we said and we're going to end up with about 9 to 12 inches of snow in central and to southeast Iowa. And this is the snowfall snowstorm totals across the state. And we're going to expect the snow to continue right through the afternoon. At times, we'll have some heavier bands moving through, especially through at least 8 a.m. this morning. It's going to take a while for that heavy band to move through. By 2 o'clock, the snow begins to taper off already across the northern part of the state. And then by closer toward 5, 6 p.m. here in the central part of Iowa, our snow is going to begin to wrap up as well. But the the winds will be howling, causing some blowing and drifting concerns. A lot of moisture with this system. We started out with the rain. We set a record rainfall of three quarters of an inch in Des Moines yesterday, and now we've picked up all the snowfall on top of that. And check out the heavy rainfall across southern Missouri. This whole system will slowly work its way to the east today. And notice that second piece of energy coming in from the Dakotas. That will be the tail end of the system moving through this afternoon. Your main weather headlines that winter storm warning continues right through 9 p.m. this evening as the storm totals will near 8 to 14 inches. Watch for near blizzard conditions. Whiteout conditions will be possible, especially in northern Iowa, as the snow turns more powdery and as temperatures fall. Right now, visibilities are hovering close to one to two miles across the state. So visibilities are low, and they're going to be dropping further as the wind increases. Right now, the wind is light, but it's already shifting up near Mason City and Sioux City and increasing to near 20 miles per hour. That's going to cause big headaches on the roads today. 33 degrees right now in Des Moines. That's really not too bad. Starting out the day, it does look very pretty, but conditions will be turning worse this afternoon. Temperatures will be falling, the wind will pick up, and that winter storm warning continues. Temperatures, well, we've already hit our high for today in the low 30s. They'll be falling into the teens by mid afternoon. Watch for an additional two to four inches of snow to fall today. Isolated totals higher than that. The north wind is going to be whipping in here at 20 to 35 miles per hour later this afternoon. The wind will be calming down overnight. The skies will also be clearing out. It's going to turn cold tonight, a low back to zero. Wind Chills down near 15 degrees below zero. Be very careful shoveling the snow. It's a heavy, wet snow, and if it freezes, it's going to be very icy out there, too. And tomorrow, if you're digging out, it's going to be cold. Bundle up 16 degrees the high temp tomorrow. A huge change from those 50s we had just a few days ago. Wind chills tomorrow will be below zero for much of the day. And our eight day forecast shows another shot of snow Tuesday into Wednesday and a little bit of wind with that. And then temperatures remain pretty chilly until we get to next weekend. And then we may see just a little bit of melting. Now we have Zach coming in this morning, and he's helping to do some teammate coverage here. He's tracking the, the latest with some of our school net webcams. Good morning. Yeah, if you're waking up across the state, snow has been falling. And waking up in Ames, see that there is some snow still falling across the central Iowa. And that'll be the case all through the day. We still have some photos to be looking at this morning. You can see the nice snow falling on the tree, nice uh, pile up on the trees. But as the winds increase throughout the morning hours, some branches may break. And so we could see some power outages, outages throughout the morning hours. And so that's not the good thing to be looking at with that. Also, up in Ames, to see that they had a snowball fight last night around the midnight hours. So, even though we had a lot of snow, kids are still getting out and having a lot of fun. New snow total is in nine inches in Grimes, reported 4.5 inches in Atlantic, as well as five inches in Clear Lake, as well as a National Weather Service uh, location in Johnson has seven, six inches in KCCI here at the studios, and four and a half down in Centerville.